Assalamualaikum everyone. So today I'm going to tell you how to install or get an official Samsung built-in call recorder on your Samsung device. For example, I have this Samsung Galaxy A03 right now in Pakistan. If you can go to the call recorder phone app, then click on the three dots and go to settings. You're not going to see any option for recording calls, and because it is not capable of recording calls in Pakistan right now we can't even install any other third party apps from the Play Store they won't even work so the only thing we can do is to change its firmware to some other countries which supports call recording or built in call recording from Samsung after installing those firmware from other countries we are going to get some other features as well as the call recording feature which is currently banned in many countries like there are hundreds of countries and only Samsung allowed them to few countries to record calls and they have given them a built-in call recorder for it But for us we have no call recorder in their phone. So first of all we have to do some small things to start First we need a phone obviously a Samsung phone. This trick only works on Samsung obviously because we are going to install other Samsung ROMs from other countries and also you need a computer it could be a laptop or a PC. It should must be running Windows 7 or later. And you also need a Wi-Fi or internet connection to download the firmware file and a USB data cable to connect your phone with your PC or laptop. So the first thing you need to do on your phone is to connect to your Wi-Fi, backup all of the apps data from your phone, and now you have to go to the settings app then scroll down until you find accounts and backup click on manage accounts and remove all the accounts one by one how will you do this just click on first one click on remove account and then click on remove simple do this with the rest of the accounts and make sure there is no account left so let's do this quickly after removing all the accounts we are done with the phone after you have to just back up your data if you have done this just power off your device and make sure the charging is above 50 percent then just power off your phone that's it we are done with the phone now we have to do some work of installing or downloading firmware and stuff like that on our pc so now on your we are on your pc now we have to install feed files for example First, you have to go to Samsung. This website it is Samsung Firmware. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you have to click on this, and you have to enter the model number of your phone. In my case, example, I have A zero three five F. And now you will see this thing: your model name and your name of the phone. When you click on this. A new page will open up here we are first of all it will show you the specifications of your phone this is the same phone which I showed you in the video then you just scroll down a little bit and now here you're seeing a lot of countries firmware for example right now my phone is running you have to scroll down more We are running a Pakistan firmware right now in our phone officially. So we will install Indian firmware because some firmware also have call recording and the countries which support these are these countries. All of these. The best firmware in all of these is obviously Indian. So we are going to install Indian because it will give you a little bit more options. So we have to click on India which is here. India INS then you have to click on this and ad will appear just then you will scroll down a little bit more and now here it will show you all the files or latest version of this phone so obviously download the latest one so click on this this is the latest one the most top one And now you have to 
wait for it because it's calling by frost. I think the creator of this website is highly impressed by the Marvel's studios. So we have to wait. It depends on your phone or laptops by internet speed. So now here you will see a bunch of options. You have to click on download same Samsung firmware server. Just click on this. Now it will again try to call Hamdal and you have to wait again. So now here we will show you a download option. You just do the add again. You have to click on download option and then the download will start. For in my case, the firmware size of my phone is actually 4.5 gigs. So I have to cancel it right now because I have already downloaded this. Here is it. And now you have to download one more software known as Ordin, which will, is a software which will flash this firmware file into our phone. So you have to just down click. So you have to just type Ordin download in the search bar then the first website you have to click on it then you have to scroll it then you have to click on the latest version which will in my case is 3.13.1 so you just click on it now scroll a little bit more so now you will see a lot of options just Okay, we just click on this one, latest updated version, this one, okay, which is 3.13 per month. Just click on that. Now scroll down again, and now click on this top download now button. Now this order is also downloaded. So now you have to go to your home screen. Now here is the Ordin one. First you have to extract Ordin. So now here is the Ordin down now extracted and now you have to also extract the firmware. Now after extracting, uh, you have to extract this one and then you will get a 8.71 gigabytes of the file. So the upper zip files are now, now no use. So just delete them right now. And now we just need two of these files. So now first of all, you have to open up Ordin. Here's Ordin one. Then click on Ordin this one, this application and open it. Click on OK and then here's the interface which you have to see. Now let me first show you the firmware files. You hear all the files. Now you have to click on BL first and then browse to the desktop and then the firmware. Then we click the BL so we will click on BL version. Now we will click on AP. The AP is the main file and it can see most most heavy and most big file. So as you can see it's like 8.1 GB. It's the main file. So click on it and you have to click on open. Now it will take some time. So you have to have wait here. To do this. Don't touch anything on your computer or try to close it. It might say you that it's not responding or stuff like that. Just wait. Don't touch anything on the screen. Now it's done AP. Now we will bring CP in there. So click on CP and click on CP. So it's got also added. And click on CSC and then click on CSC. No, don't click on C home CSC. Just click on CSC or DIM or something. I don't know what this does this mean or DM, but just click on CS 
CSS CSC then after it's going to give a ch check on here yeah so now these four files are inst inserted in this software or bring imported in the software now you have to put your phone in download me so need to remove the sim card and the SD card tray because in case they did something so social will mess up with these things so you have to remove those things just insert the just take these things out like this and now you have to press and hold the volumes and volume up and volume down button at the same time like this and you have to ins insert the USB cable in there and the other end of this cable should must be connected with the computer or laptop so let's do it So after putting it download mode now it will start booting this or flashing this on your phone you have to just wait a few minutes or few seconds depending on your PC and phone speed then after this we will the phone will automatically restart and there's no then use of your PC to so just wait until this line composed completely at there and this line is also showing up on your phone so you just have to wait until that line get computed and your phone get restarted so just to wait in few minutes it's going to complete and the phone will restart so just wait a few seconds more There we go. The phone has been now been restarted, and now you can also disconnect the cable and everything from your phone. And you can also turn off your computer as well in this right now because work for our PC has been done completed. So now just wait for our phone to boot up. And now as you can see the Samsung logo, it means that everything has gone perfectly right, and the phone is now restarting. It's now removing all of the previous data and Android Vision and will install the new android version or the new new firmware or other country so samsung logos appeared now it's going to boot up in a few minutes or few seconds so you just have to wait for a few minutes now you can at this point you can also disconnect the cable here no need to connect it anymore so just have to wait to restart this from Phone has restarted booting completely and there we are on the first screen of our phone so just click on start so as this has done a lot of work so it might hang for a few minutes for the first time click on start okay so and user probably policies that's it agree skip Okay, so it's not allowing us to do this. I have no idea how, but we have to connect to the Wi-Fi to, to the setup. So I will do it. Our phone has been started and working. So now we have to install the SIM card tray with our memory card 
and then we will show you that whether our call recording is working or not. So now our call sim has been installed with our memory card also shown. Let us first wait. Okay, so now sim has been detected and now let's open up the phones app. Again, click on these three dots and click on settings, and there we go. We got record call option. Now we can enable auto call recording for all options for all calls. Show notification note we don't want to sh see notifications. Record calls, we want how many calls can be recorded here. So we don't have call recorded anyone now. Now, storage location, I will go with it with SD card. That's it. Now, let me show you a demo of it. That where most of the people also ask that after some Indian ROM in our Pakistan phones, will the SIM work? Yes, it's working. You just can see your phone. Let me call someone. One, two, three. Let me start call and let's see whether it is start recording or not. So it's recording. Let's see whether the call recording saved on your SD card. You can open calls. You can access the recording by clicking on recent. Then you will see a small icon of the mic which decays that this call has been recorded. So click on this. Click on these. And now click on show. Click on allow. We will see again a mic logo here. Click on this. And now we can hear the... So it's working now. You can access the call recording from here or the from from clicking on these three dots, clicking on settings, clicking on record calls, click on recorded calls. There we go. Here's the call recording. It's working here as well. Now you can also access it directly from the file explorer by just opening up the Samsung file explorer. Going to the SD card because we are recording calls in the SD card. Then you will see uh, here is it recordings call and here is that record again just once. It's also working. So I hope now you will also able to install the auto call recording feature on your phone, and now it might also work properly. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.